You're not on the whole screen. Yeah, I know. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, Merry Christmas, everyone. That was gross. My dog's trying to puke up right now. What's wrong with you? It's Christmas. Everyone's spending time with their families, but I say, hell no. Pokemon is my family. She is trying to do something gross. Hello, I'm also here. It's a Christmas miracle. Fox is also here off camera. Adding commentary. I swear to God, if you throw up, I'm going to have to make Fox go clean it up while I play Pokemon. Mm. I don't think you would clean it up anyway. Mm, yeah, no. Your dog, not mine. Yeah, it always is when she does something you don't like. <laughs> Come here, Papa. Alright, so today we are attacking the game corner. And I'm just going to go straight into it. Do you have those uh, strats? Do you believe in the strats? I don't have any strats, no. Not on my blanket, for Christ's sake. Do you need some water? I don't have all of the A team with me because I don't want them all to level up too high. Go get some water, baby. I'm not feeding you. But I think I brought a decent team for fighting through here. Taking out the Geobonds. Oh, did you wash their food bowls last night? No, I didn't. Okay. She come back and looked at me all sad, and I was like, what the hell? Mm, there wasn't room in the dishwasher for their food bowls. That's fine. Ooh, what's your level cap? Uh, 29. I'll double check that. 29. So yeah, level cap this week, and if anyone hasn't followed along up to this point, which if you haven't, what the heck, go back and watch the other ones. Uh, level cap is 29, level cap is based off the next gym. Oh my gosh, this whimsical ass music. Yeah. Well, I don't know. He's been streaming with, like, not the game music, so I had forgotten. Yeah. And now, we're inside. And the music is all looming now. We're in the enemy territory. That's not a great matchup, but I think we'll be okay. Nah, he didn't even use confusion. Easy. So, anyway, it's Christmas, I had a three day weekend. It's been very warm where we are though. We did not have a white Christmas. Yesterday was 70 degrees out. And we spent half the day outside walking through parks and stuff. And I don't know what the temperature is out today. I haven't gone out yet, except for walking the dogs at six in the morning. But it was already 50 degrees then, too. But it was already warm then, too, yeah. So I expected it's going to be a warm Christmas day for us today. <clears throat> I hope everyone got all the presents they wanted. We did not do presents this year because we just bought a house two months ago. And that's present enough for one 
We bought presents for the dogs. We got presents for the dogs, yes. I'm leveling up a lot faster than I anticipated. I'm gonna have to swap out Metallica anyway. She's getting her ass kicked over here. Escape rope, that's good, we'll need that. <laughs> yeah, in a minute. There might be like beds or something in here that you can heal. Yeah. I don't remember if this one has it. Some of the bases do. This hat is itchy. <laughs> I know it's mine. But I decided to wear the festive hat on the most festive of days. Hmm. Gotta flinch. Get some payday. Get that money. We're gonna need it to buy lots of coins to go gambling. Which I am gonna do off screen. I am not gambling during stream, that would just be boring as all hell. I wouldn't mind having a Grimer or a Coughing. Those are both pretty solid Pokemon. It's level 27. I think he evolves at 28, but I'm gonna prevent it. I'm going to keep preventing it for 20 levels. As long as I don't hit the space bar and forget. And hit the space bar or forget to push B or not know where B is or tap A too fast. I, know, I hit myself in the confusion. Thought about switching them out, but... Look at her. Oh man, that's scary. Look at her. No, not that one. The one out the window. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not gonna risk it. He might pull off a quick attack. I do not want to lose my cat loaf. Especially five minutes into the stream. After we lost an onyx. Yeah. Um... He used tail whip, I would have been safe. But I'm glad I didn't risk it anyway. Yeah, losing that onyx was was the big sad. Yeah, that was rough. I can't believe you lost him so soon. Yeah, I couldn't believe I got him and then I couldn't believe I lost him. I didn't know rage trapped you into the move. If I had known that, I wouldn't have used it. But... If you had knew that, you wouldn't have learned it. I think you had yeah. to put it on your moveset. Yeah, I think I got rid of Tackle for it. And I was like, oh, it might be better than Tackle. I didn't know it traps you, though. And that was my downfall, was that I just watched him slowly die. That is, uh, that's bad. I was not actually watching that stream, sorry. Sorry to break your heart and all the viewers' hearts. That's okay. Hearts. He's... The worst part is he's lost forever. There's like two more caves maybe that I could still get an onyx, but no. Our dupes rule dictates that if you have even if he lost. dies, he is you do not get another one. <clears throat> stairs or go through the whatever these are I don't know I'll try the stairs they're just like moving sidewalks yeah Zach 
conveyor belts that spin you around until you puke. They're just moving sidewalks. Haven't you paid attention when you're in Vegas? I want to go back to Vegas sometime. I don't want much off. I don't want to right now. Let's make a date. Where's Hugh? Let's go to Vegas. Should we have the the uh, annual Poke Boomers get together in Vegas? No, I'm just saying the other times we went to Vegas, Hugh was there. That's true. That was the last time we were in Vegas. <clears throat> and that was like a long time ago. Like 10 years ago. Uh, maybe nine, but yeah. Wow, I got some angry puppies. At least she's not trying to puke everywhere now. Pounced right on her sister's head. Oh no. Mob chops are good at getting off those critical hits. Did not really hurt me. Two viewers, hello. Yes. Merry hello Christmas. Everyone who's come so far. If you don't celebrate Christmas, happy Saturday. We're happy to have you here either way. Mm hmm. Normally, this would be Hugh Gaming's uh, day to play, but he is visiting family. He is. Honoring this like most that. joyous of days. I think he's visiting family. He said no Christmas, and I said yes Christmas. So he will be playing tomorrow, probably. And depending on how far I get today, I may or may not play anything tomorrow. We'll see. I'm okay doing it today and giving him tomorrow to play. Or you can just finish it up Monday. Mm hmm. That's true. I don't actually know mm -hmm. where our objective is here. I. Oh, hey. This is good. This is good. Yeah. It's strange that he doesn't catch you until one past yeah, you could the avoid doorway. Him if you wanted. Yeah. I really wish they would just like suck you in and make sure you gotta fight the guys. Oh nice, you got that crit. No yawning on stream. I'm sorry. Brad holding on. I like using payday to finish them off because then you get the extra monies. Money. Well, payday is weak, so it's not a good mm, no, move to bring sucks, off the bat. But... If it was strong, then it would just be totally unfair that it also gives you money. Yeah, I suppose that's fair. Are there any super secret items in this place that we should be looking out for? Well, we got double edge, but I do not know what is for sure here. <clears throat> I would not use double edge in a nose lock, personally. Yeah, probably not. It I don't even think it's as strong in this game as it is in other games. Let's see what this one is. Team 2 is it Mega Kick or something? Razor Wind. Hmm. I could teach it to Izzy then. Hmm. Razor it. Wind, I think that's a two turn move. You have to charge up one turn and... 
I don't know. We'll have to Google it. And make sure it, we'll have to like start vetting these moves so we don't get a in a scenario where we kill all our Pokemon. Also picked up a bunch of TMs last time. We got Ice Beam, Tri Attack, and Rock Slide. Oh my gosh, she's so mad. Mm -hmm. She's so mad. What's the matter, puppy? Why are you angry, puppy? Effect. I'm trying to learn some stuff, Jazz. It is a two turn move. Mm. And it's a negative priority move. Negative priority, huh? That's mm -hmm. interesting. How strong is it? Mm. <laughs> My puppy's so angry. You want to come up here? There we go. <laughs> What's the angry puppy want, huh? Angry puppy say hi, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas from the angry puppy. Oh, good girl. Hmm? Mm-hmm. <laughs> It has a You're just mooning the camera. It has a bad accuracy, only 75%. Oh, that's pretty bad. There you go. Oh, yeah, crap. Do I have an antidote? Hope you like that escape rope. Uh, how many escape ropes do I have? It doesn't that matter. Too. the escape rope. I should go buy some antidotes. That's, mm -hmm. a, that's the second time I've had to like use a escape. Yeah. that the huskies were uh, talkative. Yeah. Our husky is so stoic. Yeah, she doesn't say much. Doesn't even say with, anything. Even with Jasmine like at her throat. It was really funny. Jasmine was just biting her in her face and she just did like a big yawn. Mm -hmm. I'll have to check what those TMs are. I think he said I was out of room. Well, then I suppose we better go empty our bag, too. Yeah, dump that. Poopy TM you just picked up. We've got too many TMs, yeah. It's a two turn move, but you're not immune on the first hit. Or for first turn, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Save that for the Elite Four. T 
Should write down all the TMs I have. Yeah, you can put the firestone and yeah, stone in there. Put the stones in there. You can get those when you need them. I only bought them so that I'd have them earlier. What are you gonna use them on? Uh, leaf stone is for vine whip the weeping bell. Oh and right. Firestone is for uh, fox puppy the vulpix. Oh. I guess I forgot that that needed a uh, firestone. Mm hmm. I was gonna say, I really don't think you're gonna make a Flareon. No, I already made a Jolteon. He's, he's already been created. I have a pretty solid Gen 1 favoritism to Vaporeon. Vaporeon is great, but I needed a good electric Pokemon. I've read uh, one shiny EV ever in X and Y, and I made it into a Vaporeon. That's because a good choice. Shiny Vaporeon is uh, purple. Yeah. And now that I have a purple Vaporeon, Vaporeon just has more weight in my heart. You also had a very good shiny Ninetales. I did have a good shiny Ninetales. That, uh, that was pure luck that it had... Uh, Zero IVs and whatever stat determines the. Uh... It was like a attack or something. I don't know what. It no, was. I wouldn't use it if it was a zero attack. Maybe zero speed. Whatever IV determines the power of hidden power or the type all, of all hidden of power. Do. All of them do. I don't know that that's accurate because we knew what it was going to be because it had one zero IV. Okay. Anyway, the Nine Tails has an ice hidden power. Had. I don't think it works anymore if you brought it to the new games, but. Well, it has in that particular game ice hidden power. Up until that point, I, uh, I really liked Glaceon, actually. Got another TM. And another Moonstone. I have so many Moonstones. Horn Drill. Ooh. Got that one hit KO move. We can give it to Metallica. I think we may have said no one hit KO move, so I'll have to consult the council on that one. Yeah, that might be a rule. I don't know what the rules are. <laughs> I'm here for the entertainment. Mm hmm. And while I am privy to some of the behind the scenes things, I don't pay attention. Oh, you're going up. Yeah, there might be an item back here. Yeah, there is an item back here. A super potion. A super potion that I couldn't buy earlier. <laughs> oh, jeez. Come here, Bubba. Is Jeffrey out, or what are we mad about? Oh, she's mad about. She's just always mad. <laughs> She is. <laughs> you wanna go get her or should I? Well, I don't know if she's gonna be got, but I will fetch her. Come on, Papa. Come here. What time is it? Uh it is five to noon. Alright, I'll feed them. I went in there and they both like gravitated and made a dish. Hyper Fang is still scary even when I'm eight levels higher. Alright, we gotta make sure we don't let Cat Loaf evolve.
This person really liked Rattataz. I think we found the Youngster Joey Team Rocket equivalent. All right, got my finger on the B button. Press some Bs. Spam those A's and B's. All right, we stopped them. We stopped the first attempt at evolution on Catloaf. Now 15 more to go. Yep. <laughs> Maybe 16. Something like that. It was at 44. He's at 28, so 16. I think that's what I said. Mm -hmm. I like this. Oh yeah, you want to show them the presents we got for so, the puppies? So, for this very festive holiday season, we got a bunch of toys for the dogs. Um, and uh, our one dog, Juniper, the new one, the one that looks like a husky, is a, a little bit rough on equipment. And uh, so we decided to buy some what are considered tougher toys. So we got, we got some leather. They are... Uh, more economic or environmentally friendly leather toys. This one's a snake. We got this a snake, a we lizard. got a lizard, and we got a rabbit. They squeak. Oh, here they she squeak. comes to claim her prize. She heard it. There is a rabbit one. That's we also over there. we also got a stuffed toy purple hedgehog, which has already been. Uh, Eviscerated. The the lizard and the uh, hedgehog have already been torn, so they are no longer allowed to play with those ones until repairs have been made. Yeah, dude. Uh, one day. It took one day. We got them some <laughs> little fake. Oh, we got wood fake sticks. sticks, which have also been removed from circulation. Yeah. So uh, my dog toy review 101 is not to buy these because they get chewed up, which is fine except it gets like stupid sharp and they were cutting their mouths on them. So I uh, wrote a scathing review, but not really. I wrote a very polite, my dogs loved these, but then their mouths started bleeding review. And uh, I was very kindly refunded my $2. $3. Yeah. <laughs> Which is still nice. I mean, yeah, it was nice of them and they didn't have to do that. I didn't say I'm gonna return these, I want my money back, I'm so mad. I just was like, hey, I bought these, my dogs loved them, but also. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, the dogs have been having a very happy and fun-filled holiday. They have more toys than most children get for Christmas. Probably, maybe, I don't know. I got a lot of toys during Christmas sometimes. <laughs> I was told on the on the topic of Pokemon that when Zach was seven years old, he got a Pokedex uh -huh. for the Christmas. The original Pokedex. And his father has told me repeatedly that that is his most joyous, happy memory because he has never before nor since seen a child so excited about a toy <laughs> as when Zach got that Pokedex. Um, so there you go, there's your- uh, You're gonna make people think I like Pokemon, which your is not true at Christmas all. Pokemon I memory. I have no feelings towards Pokemon whatsoever. I say as I'm playing Pokemon. Zach got a Pokedex when he was seven and he was overjoyed If you still have that, it might be worth money. It might be. I don't think I have anything. No, I don't think you do. The stupidest, <laughs> the dumbest things are worth money now. So yeah. here's my Christmas story. My uh, grandmother every year would give us like a $20 gift card to Walmart because my grandmother was in a poor rural community where like Walmart was the only shop. Mm -hmm. And this was even back at the day where they weren't gift cards. They were gift certificates, and it was a fucking piece of paper. <laughs> so, like, I'm dating myself a little bit here. But when I was a child, I would get $20 gift certificates on a piece of paper to Walmart. And we weren't allowed to have them in our own possession, of course, because they were paper and would get destroyed. 
and I used mine, I think I actually had to save two of them, to buy a Furby, because I think a Furby was $35, which let me tell you, in like the year 1999 or whatever year Furbies came out was like a ton of freaking money for a toy. <laughs> now a toy costing like 80 or $150 is like, well, you know, toys are expensive. But like $35 for a toy in the year 1999 was like, holy shit, what an expensive toy. Mm -hmm. So I saved up a bunch of money and bought this Furby. And apparently it's worth a lot of money now. And I still have mine with the original box. Not that the box is in good shape, but I still have it, so. Mm -hmm. There was a second Furby craze, I don't know, probably five or ten years ago. I don't have children. <clears throat> and uh, the first generation original Furbies came back as being valuable of all the dumb things, but there you go. DM me if you want to buy my Furby. <laughs> Four, floor four is where we're going. We got a couple more dudes to beat up. How can you not see the beauty of our evil? Look at her. She's been so cute about just like getting a toy and sleeping on top of it. <laughs> show the dog cam? No, I'll just take a picture and post it to Instagram. Oh, okay. So, our dog Juniper, this week, has just, like, been claiming toys. Trying to claim all the toys, actually. She's she kind is, of been a bit of an asshole. She is kind of an asshole. Kind of greedy when it comes to new toys. So, we get a new toy, and we try and get one for each dog, or try and let the dogs play with it equally. But Juniper seems to have the most interest in whatever Jasmine is currently touching. Mm -hmm. Not what she has touched, but whatever she is touching right now. Um, and possibly to guard it, possibly as an affection toward the toy, she has taken them to her bed and just falls asleep on them, which is very cute. Whether or not she's being an asshole, it's very cute. <laughs> so, uh... Sorry, Jasmine, your uh, Christmas is being ruined by your younger sister, which I think is probably par for the course for all children, that the that the baby right, kind of just evolution here. gets to wreck things. And Catloaf is at the level cap now. She did. <laughs> you left your chair unguarded. I did. I got up to take a picture of Juniper and she was like, actually, thank you. All right, well, we'll share. It's going up on the gram. All right, new picture up on the doggy's Instagram. If anyone wants to check it out, it's Jasmine dot. All right, Jasmine dot and dot Juniper. So Jasmine and Juniper with dots in the middle of the words. Because shockingly like enough, just Jasmine and Juniper was taken. Someone else already had a, a Jasmine and Juniper. Yeah, but their Instagram account, they don't have any posts, so I'm kind of mad about that. But yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, technically I can change my name as much as I want, so. Yeah. 
So if you have a new suggestion, let us know. <laughs> doing pretty good. I think we'll keep Vine Whip in the lead, because Giovanni has a lot of ground and whatnot Pokemon. Not sure what he leads with, but we will find out in a second, yeah? Can you heal anyone? Catlope is hurt, but he's at level cap, so we're not going to use him. All right, here we go. Our first fight with Giovanni. Three Pokemon. Onyx, okay. Good start. That is one down. Rhyhorn, also good for us. We're getting the easy kills. And Kangaskhan. He is not weak to grass. Let's put him to sleep. Ooh, he, he has a hard bite. Oh, he used Rage. Send in Isabel. I'll throw a confuser on him too. We'll do this all tactical. Switch again to Sandhue. Sandhue will be very good for this. He can take the hits and he can deal the damage. Uh, slasher Dig. Let's go for Stab Dig here. spec. Which, I don't know what that does. I think that might uh, it prevents crits or it prevents status ailments. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Never use that stuff. But there we go. We beat Giovanni. No losses. We got the Sylph Scope. Thanks, Giovanni, for giving us that thing. And that's it. We're done with the game corner now. Lavender Town, where we will fight our rival and more Team Rocket. It never ends. Giovanni does not get points for the... Uh, our Nuzlocke score, so I don't have to change anything there. But I do need to swap out Catlope because he is at level cap, so I can't use him anyway. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna go fight our rival. He is around, oh, he'll be easy. He has two strongest are at 25. Uh, let's put on our Jolteon, because we need him to get strong. Okay, let's go 
comes in and bzzzt comes out. some secret tactics here. Just want to let you know that I already have three spam comments on my Instagram posts. Oh yeah? Yep. DM us for uh, this and that and promote it on our page. And wow. So I think my fellow players forgot that you can still go into Saffron City. There's no rule against going into the city. I just can't fight the gem and stuff. But that means I can pick up some uh, TMs and stuff possibly before they do. Which would work if you weren't the first one finishing. <laughs> first one finishing what? This week. What do you mean? They're going to see you going up to Celadon, and they can also... They can, if they watch. But I am banking on that they're not paying that close attention. You think Hugh's not going to pay attention to what moves your team has? I don't know. I don't know. Alright, so I could go into this gym and get a Hitmon Lee or Hitmon Chan, but that would take my encounter for the city, and I'm saving that for Lapras, because Lapras... Lapras is OP. So. That's all I'm doing is I'm taking a TM from that city a little early. into Lavender Town. Which has this fabulous music. Very creepy music, yes. <coughs> I might turn it up a little bit. There you go. I don't think the music was playing too loud on here, so... Okay. So, uh, our rival, as always, starts with Pidgeotto. I will start with Bzzzt. Because I actually have something strong against flying now. And we gave him the Thunderbolt that we picked up from Lieutenant Surge. Let us see how our new Jolteon fares. <laughs> My graceful puppy. Would have been more fun if it didn't hit me. <laughs> the claws come out in her fear. Our rival Hubert wants to fight. Man, that guy's such a prick. What a prick indeed. I did not actually expect that. Execute. Um, I don't really have a good answer for that right now. Um, I have plenty of other good answers for him. Let's use. I hope you guys all heard her just burp into the mic. Did she? <laughs> Ooh, a nasty hypnosis. And I woke up already. And he missed. 
And that was easy. down. Bzzz, leveled up. Oh no, he growled at me and missed. <laughs> You're level 25 Charmeleon, still going for the growl tactics. Alright, that was an easy win. Did he call you a stinker? Probably. Wow. He just caught a Q-Bone. Well, maybe you should use that Q-Bone. It might have done you good against my electric Pokemon. Alright, now we gotta do the trudge through the ghosts. 500 gasoline. Yeah. Are you catching a Pokemon in here? Uh, of course, yeah. But I have not caught one yet. Don't, uh, don't let it one-hit KO itself in confusion. Yeah. <laughs> I literally saw that happen, and it was terrifying. Yes, from full health, a hit of confusion, one-hit KO, Hughes. Was it a Ghastly or a Haunter? It was a Ghastly. <clears throat> it was a Ghastly that I had named. Oh, yeah? And so I don't name this Pokemon anymore. Yeah, the name was Alice. <laughs> Girl Ghastly. This is a trainer, not the. Yeah, I know. I saw the old lady. It's a ghastly. Damn it. That's okay. Imagine if we got a key on it. That would crazy. No, kind of like getting an onyx and then murdering it. Immediately. Okay, so we need to sleep. Let's see if we can catch him like that. There we go. You have a name suggestion? Should I name him Alice? Don't name it Alice, that's a <laughs> fucking death sentence. Almost invisible, this gaseous Pokemon cloaks the target and puts it to sleep without notice. Uh, let's... Well, he's a ghost and it's Christmas. You could call him Ghost of Christmas Past or something. You could just call him Dickens. Dickens? Mm -hmm. be all the Christmas ghosts. All the Christmas ghosts. I don't know if the Christmas ghosts have names. Has someone read I think they're just, Christmas Carol? I think they're just Ghost of Christmas Past and Present and Future. I think so. Did I spell Dickens right? Yeah. Not like Seinfeld. Hmm. Alright, there we go. We got, we got our ghastly. Level. That sucks for you. And also, 
also he only knows normal moves, so he wouldn't. Oh, that would be that would be unfortunate. Jolteon's doing pretty good. Oh, and we got Quick Attack now. That's cool. I don't mind him getting to level cap because I don't expect to use him in the gym. I'll probably have two Pokemon at like level 28 for the gym that I'm probably be using. hit points left. No, stop it. I am really beating myself up here. Oh god, don't die. Oh, nightshade. Don't die. Scared him. Well, that won't kill me. But another one would. So once again, I am switching for this ghastly. This is just a rough ghastly. And he... Did the confuse rate predict? Yeah, Seinfeld hidden through the confusion. What a champ. for the rage trap again. Mm. Alright, so Bzzzt needs to go to the back of the bus, and Metallica needs to go to the back of the bus. There is a healing spot in here somewhere, so I know I can restore them to health. Thank you. 
awakening. I don't think we can use HP up. I can use it out of battle. Oh, out of battle, yeah. Okay. Gastly does not have levitate in this game, so I can hit him with dig. in this dungeon, so I don't have to go all the way back to the beginning. small chance of encountering Haunter. I was thinking. Using Dig, I had two checks on the Confuse Ray instead of one. my secret. Jazz, come here. Why are you so angry all the time? There's another dog outside barking all day. Thank you. Okay, return it. So, my threats. In other news, uh, Marissa rented a video game for me called Hades. A lot of people were talking about this. It's on the Switch. It might be on other things, but we have it on the yeah. Switch. It's pretty cool. I, I've been playing it the past couple days. It's just a dungeon crawler where you're trying to escape from, uh, I don't know, hell? The underworld? Underworld. In a, in a uh, Greek mythology setting. You're like the son of Hades. Decided which character is my Hades wife. Oh, have you? I have. You want to hear about it? Yeah, I do. I have not heard that one. It's her. She called Dusa, and she's a she's a floating Medusa head. She's Ooh. just the head. Hmm. And she's the cleaning lady. She's the cleaning lady. Wow. So, uh, Dusa Dusa is my Hades wife. <laughs> wife. -y.
Ravens. That's okay. I can always go back in here. If need be. So one more level for Bzzzt. Maybe I'll, I'll hold him in case I need him. Uh, Vine Whip's not any good here. I do need to train up Seinfeld a tiny bit for the gem, so... Oh, I'm already falling items again? Can I dig out of here? Let's see if I can use dig. I bet I could have used Dig before too instead of the escape rope. No, that's alright. Oh no, it right. brought me on a big pack to sell it on. Oops. Well, it was your last Pokemon, so our escape rope probably would have done the same. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. I just need to clear my inventory. is already very good defense. This time we'll take the underground path, take the short route. Decided we're gonna have to go to Aldi tomorrow and uh, get more of that cheese. Oh, we got some good cheese yeah. from Aldi's the Aww. other day. It's what white cheddar and cranberry. Yes, it was pretty good. So that sounds pretty good. Need to sell these nuggets. And oh, inventory rich. space. And inventory space. Swap. Who are we gonna put on in place of sand here? Ooh. I don't know, do you need to train the ghastly? Uh, I'm not too keen on him right now. We can take Slagator out. Put on my 
told you. That's a new one. We got a good Jolteon picture. Oh, Flareon's right there. Oh. It's alphabetical. Oh. There's a Jolteon. Look at that happy boy. Did you still want to eat Christmas lunch dinner at one? I hope not, because <clears throat> the food takes 40 minutes and I haven't started it yet. 1.30? I can start it and then we can eat at 1.30. Okay, thank you. I, I, know, I know you lost track of it. Take. Well, I, it can be done whenever. I can even come back to it later. I suppose. It's <clears throat> up to you, though. Mm -hmm. You've only been at it an hour, so I figured yep. you'd do at least an hour and a half or an hour and a half. Two hours. Well, if you start cooking <laughs> now, I'll have an hour and a half by the time you're done. You gotta get my Christmas munchies. Everyone knows that. What's the point of Christmas if you can't have the food? encounter. Found ourselves a wild haunter. He'll be good experience. He's even stronger than my son here. In terms of what? Obviously I'm gonna kick his butt. He's fast though. He's got the speed. Tough one. It's actually kind of handy that bug is super effective against poison types in this game. Oh man, he just hung on. Just barely. And he confused me, of course. Oh, that's scary. I'm gonna have to switch that one out. Dangerous territory there. Yep, predicted the confuse ray. Yay, we have. A little bit of experience for playing with there. Um, let's switch to. good answers here. I guess we'll go heal Seinfeld. He's gonna have to carry us through the rest of the ghosts. I think we're almost through them all, but... There's rockets and the Marowak ghost, which... Can use plenty of other Pokemon for. But as far as fighting the ghosts, I think Seinfeld's our best bet, because pretty much everyone has just normal moves. 
or grass moves. I might not have thought this through very, very well. <clears throat> Still live one more, so don't miss. There we go. Alright, good job, Metallica. You got us through one. Seinfeld, we need you back up front. But actually, I think the Marowak might be right around the corner. Ooh, there's candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Oh, I missed an item. Alright, let's go back and get the item. Fields at 26. That's good. That's good. Ooh. Another haunter. Alright. Another haunter. Wow. I'm gonna go heal. So we're about to fight a bunch of people. Seinfeld to bust through all the ghosts. And then for Marowak, I'll use Slagathor, I suppose. It's been a long time since Slagathor's had glory, and Vine Whip got to take on Giovanni, so. We'll let Slagathor do this one. Oh, my goodness, it's a Marowak, and dang, what a burning. I ain't messing around. And so, let's put a leech seed on him just to be safe. Ah, he used focus energy. Focus on you. That sucks. Combine whip. Yeah, that's not a ton of damage, actually. Critical head, alright. Take out all the rockets. Oh, and you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to update my score. We beat the uh, we beat a rival here, so that is ten points. I'm at one sixty-five plus ten is one seventy-five. Okay, back to it. Gotta keep my score up to date. Too hard. Um, oh, you're using Zoom, huh? Oh, he's going back. Ha! The iron. Not 
the day, son. Oh, that was his boy, that. Let's get a confused guy on it. For once, I am the confuser and not the confusey. Huh, and it worked. Nice. Love gold, that's bright. Ooh, two in a row. Nice. Good job, Isabat. Isabat's like the secret. The secret underdog that you didn't know about. No Slagathor looking. Uh, a little worse for wear. Let's switch to Vine Whip for this one. Somehow. Good. Well, he be? Oh, he's got a bunch of. Poison types too, I should have known. Sleep powder. Come on. Sleep powder. Yes. Crap. Yes. Crap. Oh, that is weak. Sleep powder again. Wrap again. Alright, we got him. I sped it up since it was so slow. Ooh, I don't know if I want to mess around with the drowsy. I have a lot of poison types. Literally, five out of six is poison. See better? Switch to Seinfeld. Take him down with the bug moves. When Jolteon gets a bug move, that'll actually be pretty cool. He won't be super strong because he's more of a special attacker. And I believe Bug is a physical attack, but it'll still be cool. Yeah, 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 get out of here. Um, should we still lead with Vine Whip? Yeah, why not? It's only one more, right? Oh, he's got a lot. And it's so bad, of course. That's okay, we at least have a wrap. We can do the chip damage. Let's go to sleep. No? Okay. Oh, we got the supersonic on me. Okay, I'll switch. You win. Um, let's just finish him off with bzzzt. And we'll get you to level cap. Are you serious? Not only did he predict, but he used two or landed two supersonics in a row, and it worked. Oh my god. Come on, hit him. No. Come on, hit him. Not confusing. Good. Okay. Okie dough. Ooh, a piece of cookie dough. Yummy. Merry Christmas, everyone. Beat the Marowak. Oh, okay. How'd that and go? This, uh, I went very well. And now we're on the last rocket before we are done with the tower. We beat our rival in this stream, right? Yeah, I boosted my score. Okay. If that's what you were asking. Yep.
done with Lavender Tower too. Oh my gosh. Yes, and it's a haunter. Just run. You're gonna need a couple extra levels uh, to fight the minions in the gym anyhow. Oh, that's a good point. That is a good point. I almost forgot about gym minions. Pokey flute. So now it's back to Celadon City. Fight gym minions and maybe the gym later too. I guess. We got at least thirty minutes. Yep. And then I'll I'll do all of the game corner gambling and extra grinding off screen this week. No one needs to see that. No one needs to see that ever. We don't have them strats. hotline for people who are gambling addicts. Maybe. Yeah. I'll put one in the chat. Don't I think it's, gamble. I think it's like 1-800-BETS-OFF. I just said don't gamble. That's oh. pretty, pretty oh. good. I'm sure they'll listen. I watched TV and listened to the radio as a child. If you have a gambling problem, call 1-800-BETS-OFF. That does sound familiar. Gambling is a true and serious addiction, which we do not condone. Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas. We're not gambling. It's a game. It's the game corner. Apps on your phone are still gambling. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think I lost one of our children. Oh. Oh, she's sleeping on my pillow. Dang it, we can't wrap it into submission. Yeah, that's way better than wrapping. Yeah, but it resisted. Imagine if he didn't. Murder second <laughs> too. <laughs> Don't level up. It's okay if he levels up. I just can't use him if he goes above level 29. I can still use him through 29. And I'm not going to use him in the gym. Oh, okay, well. 
He was pretty much just a placeholder, so I didn't accidentally overlove it in my IV sword. I did not know. Jesus Christ, how much bug spreads does this woman have? She, she likes plants. You'd think this was a gym for plants or something. They call her beauty, anyway. but she really is not something I would describe as a beauty. She looked like a sinister bitch, honestly. You signed for you get him up one level. I won't bring him to 29. <laughs> Why didn't you bring Vulpix in here is my question. That, that's a good one. I could do Vulpix. I don't know why you didn't. I don't know. I just ran in here with whatever was on my team. Vulpix is feeling dejected in a box while you brought uh, Bellsprout. There's a week. Seinfeld's going to be our main guy for this gym. And backup is going to be uh, Mr. Hyde, our hip now. Could have been Vulpix. Well, I don't want to evolve Vulpix until like level like 36 or something like that. Well, does and it have I, any fire move right now? He might have Ember. Then I and, would still bring him. But if I bring him... I have to have him in PvP, and I do not want him in PvP. Oh. See, I'm not planning for that PvP. like a shitty rule to yeah. break things in your favor. Yeah. You can't make that rule. You're not the leader. So ugly in this game. Ugly in every game. Yeah. That's probably one of the reasons that I didn't use Vile Plume a lot as a kid, honestly. It's just because I was looked at Gloom and I was like, ugh. <laughs> but like Vile Plume is so good. I love Vile Plume. I also love Victory Bell, so I don't know which one I would choose if I had to. <laughs> In Gen 1, I liked Victory Bell better. I'm not sure about like modern day, but in Gen 1, definitely Victory Bell for me. I always had Victory Bell because obviously I own Blue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I never even got it. Gotta try out that sweet, sweet. Uh, yeah, that's true. I was the same way. Continued for a while where he had the opposite, the opposite of me up into like Gen 3, probably. I wouldn't know my first Game Boy was actually the uh, Game Boy Advance. Yeah. 
Yeah, I actually didn't get Pokemon Blue until my neighbor kid down the road was literally throwing it away, and I was like, what is wrong with you? Give me that. Wow. And he's like, well, we're too old for Pokemon, and I was like, fuck you, give me that. And so uh, my copy of Pokemon Blue I actually got when I was probably closer to 12. Hmm. And, uh, was outdated at that time and unwanted. But yeah, I never owned the actual... Who throw away a game anyway, though? What a waste. I don't know. Even if you don't want it. Your brother traded one away for a penny, so... That's true. True story. Uh, my youngest brother, when he was just a very wee lad, thought, realized, oh, you can take old video games to GameStop. And actually, he went to a different one. Not a game, game store. store. It was a game store. It was a store. game store. And, and I can sell these games and get money. And he was, who knows, like eight years old or something. He was very tiny. I should note that the this store was within a very short walking distance of the house is yeah. how this happened. Yeah. And we were wild kids. We went anywhere we want. So he, uh, he went there. I don't know if he was alone. Maybe he went with another neighborhood friend or something but not with me or my other brother or either of our parents to supervise him and he brought in a copy of Halo, the original Halo and said hey I want to sell this and the guy behind the counter said okay here's one penny and my little brother being a very small child was just like Okay, I guess that's the price I get for it, and accepted the offer. And then uh, he comes back and it's like, hey, I sold a game of Halo for a penny. And everyone's like, what? Why did you do that? And yeah, he got ripped off by some asshole in the game store who thought it would be funny to rob a child. And I know it probably wouldn't get a lot for a Halo game. Those things were everywhere. But more than a penny. Like, two dollars, maybe. I kind of am on a different track from you as a, a child should not be able to sell a game unsupervised at a store ever. That's true. Forget the price. They shouldn't have let a child sell a game unsupervised. He has to be like at least 13 or 15 to sign off and consent to this. Mm -hmm. You can't just have like a six year old come in and be like, I want to sell you this. And be like, yeah, kid, thanks. And well, I'm sure the guy money. behind the counter didn't care because he was getting an easy steal. I well, can give this kid a penny and sell, turn around and sell it. There for $10. is a possibility that the trade in value was a penny. I don't think a trade in value is a penny now. Yeah, it and is. The game's like 20 years old. Yeah, it is. Is it? Yes, it is. I bought one off of GameStop, yeah. actual GameStop, for $2. The trade-in value is a penny. When Halo was Halo and not, like, the first Halo out of, like, eight games, I don't think it was worth it. I think he got ripped off by a, a sleazy guy at the game store. I think the game store shouldn't sell to children. I think that too. It can be both. I agree. Plus, also, isn't Halo rated M? Uh, yeah, probably. So then an eight-year-old kid should not have an M-rated game at a game store. That should also be a red flag. So there's your PSA, Maybe guys. they would have stopped him from buying it, but... It doesn't matter. He shouldn't have it. They should realize it's not his because he cannot buy it. And also, you shouldn't be buying or selling things to an eight-year-old kid with no parent. At all, ever. <laughs> all right, we're using Vulpix like you wanted on the last gym trainer. Oh, okay, I was gonna say shit. No, it's, I'm not gonna use it. Okay, okay. Oh, I might not use it for this oh man, I forgot that Sprite was so bad. Look at <laughs> Look that how hair. Huge that is. <laughs> Look oh, at I that hair. No, 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 no. Looking at your freaking mohawk thing here. I do have a crazy mohawk. This back sprite is just wild. Well, 
easy one for Fox probably because he just well, kept using Well, that's what I You should be able to like get a lot of experience and level up. I didn't level up though, I'm surprised. I'm fighting something six levels higher would have done it. Uh. Okay. Now I need to craft what team I want to use for the gem slash PvP. So we know that the Ivysaur has a spot. Ivysaur probably still has a spot. Actually, you know what? I might, uh, I might reconsider that. He did not do great last week. I won last week. You did. He won all of it. I, I won both my battles. I did not win all the battles in After Dark. I think one or two guys kicked my butt nope, there. Nope, but those don't count. But those don't count for points, so... <laughs> It don't matter. I beat Hugh and I beat Vember last week. It was quite good. And Vember beat Hugh, too. Hugh really got his... Uh, he got dethroned. He got dethroned. He, he got put in his place. It was glorious. We still love him, though. So let's see. You're going to want that Jolteon. I want the Jolteon. I want the Beedrill. I'll probably keep Metallica. Maybe is a bat still. Um, we're gonna take Mr. Hind. So I got one more, I think. And you don't want it to be in. Your... It could. It could be Radicate. Radicate really doesn't. Really. Go oh, he's. I think he's got. I think he's getting to a point, though. He's getting to a point, but he's not at that point. He's got. He's got another week in him. Where is he? Norgon, that's it. Wow, that's a bold play. Norgon's still got. Still got moves. He's got. He. He's what won it for me against you because he kept flinching his Gyarados. Well, this week you'll have Jolteon. This week I'll have Jolteon, but still. You gotta account for everything. Mm. Let's see. Is there anything you would want in place of Isabat? No, Isabat's got the Confuse Ray. That's pretty good too. Alright, let's roll. And then we'll have to do a couple minutes of grinding at the end to get everybody up to cap. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that off screen. Oh, okay. No. I will grind everyone up off screen. Alright, is this the uh, order you want? No, far from it. We're gonna start with Seinfeld. And Mr. Hyde will be our backup along with everyone else as well. Miss Mr. Hyde also has type advantage, what being psychic against a bunch of poison types. But I'm really banking on Seinfeld just wiping the hole. Well, I mean, even if it does, I think that'll be okay. Yeah. Alright, folks, this is the moment. We are an hour and 40 minutes in. We are gonna do it. All right, here we go. Don't get cocky. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, she talks a lot. They all do. Okay, can we talk Erica. about how she's like really cute though? Yeah, we can talk about how cute she is. Sure. She's just precious. She's got the kimono. She got the kimono. She just arranges flowers. Like, fuck, she doesn't want to hurt nobody. Our first victim. And we're leveled up. That's why we didn't go in a too high level with him. Well, we still might have to back out after. I'm not going to. I think I would hit 30. 
we'll see how much this Tangela gives. Yes. That Tangela did a lot better. And a Bile Club. Oh, she, I got love a lot, her. she got a Victory Bell and a Bile Club. She got some big guns. Critical hit to finish it off. And we don't have to level up Seinfeld now. He's hit level cap. Perfect. I feel like he would pretty much destroy this gem on his own. I like that it makes Pokemon up to level 50 obey, but your Pokemon up to <laughs> level 29. Yeah. She does not understand the level cap. And I got Mega Drain. Maybe we want to uh, replace Mega Drain on some, or Vine Whip, maybe on like Slide or something. Based on my cooking. Well, I got a gym win, so let's update our score. That's it, the flat 200. We're at a flat 200 now. The big 2 0 0. And I will reconstruct my team based off the team that I had in the gym. So Seinfeld was up first. And we did not take Slagathor with us. I. Make sure I don't screw this up here. Uh, Vine Whip was not with us. Vine Whip the Weeping Bell was not there. We have Metallica. We have Isabat. We have Bzzzt. So we need my Hypno. Jolteon is bad. Uh, oh, Raticate. Morgon. There you are. There you are. <clears throat> okay. So that is the team I'm taking into PvP. Obviously, I'm going to be switching them in and out so that I can train them all up to level 29, as is our level cap. But there you go. I'm at 200 points. Jim defeated. Giovanni defeated. Rival defeated. Uh, this is my PvP team. So we didn't do it last night because Christmas Eve, but we are doing our Pokeboomers together on this coming Friday, which might be New Year's Eve, maybe? It is. So New Year's Eve, you can join us for a New Year's Eve special where we do po Pokey Boomers together, where me, uh, Zedward of Play Together, Stay Together, along with my fellow hosts, Hugh from Hugh Gaming and Vimbert from Vimbert, just Vimbert. We get together and pit our uh, gym teams against each other and see who had the best one of the week. And we get more points based off that. As you can see, an extra 15 points for PvP wins. And then after that, we get together with other people who are also following along on their own. And we all battle each other in a grand royale good time and then we'll move on to the next week which would be what would next week's be uh, the official number five gym is Koga from Fuchsia City and the level cap there is 43 wow that is a big jump so uh, yeah that's gonna be huge that's gonna be huge folks we're actually going to go from level cap of 29 to 43 which we have to be careful with because that's also the next week's level cap so for both 
Koga and Sabrina. We have level cap 43. So, uh, yeah. Next week's going to be interesting. A lot of strats, a lot of strategy going on there. So, yeah, thank you. I've been Zedward from Play Together, Stay Together. Merry and Christmas. Fox says Merry Christmas. She was in the background, as you could hear.